before I start this review, I just wanted to say thank you for the support. It looks like the uh, drone giveaway ended, and the winner was... I don't know how you see this. Winner, someone named Amy T. Uh, so, again, guys, stay tuned for more giveaways, and uh, I'll post a link when I, whenever I put another one up. Thanks again, Amy T. I'll do a proper review of the uh, Cheerx One Micro Quadcopter that I got off of Amazon. Um, gave one of these away for promotion off of uh, Amazon, and I got another one I'm going to give away off of one of my other videos. Um, this is pretty much what you get. It runs off of uh, the controller runs off of three AAA batteries. It comes with a USB charger for the quad itself. Uh, it's got a bunch of flashing lights to let you know if your batteries are low, front and rear orientation. Um, in the box you get the controller. You get this tiny little quad itself. You get a couple propellers and a, uh, an extra body so you can swap out the body that's on it for the uh, ladybug body. The controller is actually pretty good. Um, I expected less from it. Uh, it's got really tight responsive uh, controls. Uh, these buttons are used for trimming, calibrating, and uh, these buttons are for modes and this is for like a 3D flip mode which I haven't tried. Um, when I first got this thing I was so impressed with I just played with it in the living room off of my other video and I didn't really do much of a of a uh, real review. So uh, since then I've had time to play with it. Um, it's got three modes. It's got an easy mode, which really makes it really calm if you've watched my first video. Um, it barely wants to pirouette. And then I hit this button and flipped it into pro mode, and it's a rocket. It spins, pirouettes like crazy. And uh, then there's a 3D mode, which I haven't figured out yet. The instructions that it comes with um, don't really give you a lot of detail. They tell you how to set the thing up. They don't really exactly explain the modes. Um, tells you about the placement parts but this thing costs like 15 bucks so if you break it you're probably gonna go buy another one instead of trying to repair it um, I won't go through the instruction manual you can buy one check it out after I do a review after I do the flight test it's a little bit breezy out here it's a tiny little thing so I don't know how it's gonna handle the wind but uh it is too fast for me to handle indoors so I'm gonna switch over to the uh, action camera and see if I can catch it on the action camera see how it flies with a little bit of breeze I'm going to see if I can get my son to hold the phone or the camera while I'm trying to record. So what you got to do with this thing is you got to turn it on and, and you got to set it down on a level surface. Um, the level the surface, the less trimming you have to do. So, you turn it on. You can't really see them, but there's a bunch of flashing lights on here. There's some green ones in the back and there's some blue ones in the front. And as you can see, the blue ones stop flashing. Um, what I have to do is, it says you got to do this to calibrate it. You hold this top button here, and then you hold the right button and the left button while behind the quad, and it'll calibrate it. So give me a second while I do that. i got to put the camera down. Alright, so it's calibrated. The controls are actually, like I said, pretty decent. they got digital display on it, um, which shows you your throttle position. It's got digital trims. Um, it's got different modes right now. You can see it's an easy... Pro 3D, not sure what 3D means. I know it does flipping, so I might try one of those while it's uh, while I got the space and the breeze is a little bit low. Um, and to be honest with you, like I said, I've never flown, well, I have, I've flown a lot of aircraft before, but this thing is uh, really tiny and very fast for me to keep up with with my semi good vision without my glasses. So I'm going to do my best without the tripod, without to try not to plow this thing in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off an easy, hover it around a little bit, I'm going to flip it to Pro, and then I'm going to see what 3D does. So apparently with 3D you hold this button down and press the stick to the left or right, and it's supposed to flip it forward or, or flip it to the left or right, so we're going to see what it can do. Um, I might have to trim it out a little bit because I'm not sure how level this step is I'm sitting on. So.
So this is an easy mold and that full pirouette, you can see it barely pirouettes. Barely pirouettes and with that little bit of breeze and the trim seems to be decent. The breeze is coming from my right. So we trim it out a little bit. So I dropped it because it was getting too far away from me. I couldn't see the orientation, but uh, I dropped into the grass, no damage at all. It's a really beefy little quad. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fly it that good out here because this breeze is starting to pick up on me, but I'm going to give it one more shot. I'm going to try to see this thing do a little flip or roll or whatever it's supposed to be able to do. Like I said, I don't know what 3D mode is supposed to do, so I'm going to put it into 3D mode and see what it's supposed to do in 3D mode. I think it allows it to do flips. starting to pick up and I don't know if I'm going to be able to fly this thing but I just still want to do a flip with it so I'm going to hand launch it see if I can do a flip with it and then call it um, let's see what it can do Let's try to flip with it, see what it does. Ready? <laughs> Did it fast too? Did you catch it? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll try to do it faster in front of you. Is it in front of you now? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. I couldn't see what direction it was facing. So when you gotta like if you don't start it in or you gotta stop the camera. Point it out that way. So anyway, back to me, back to me, back to me. <coughs> anyway. Did some front flips with it. I lost it. This thing is really Can tiny. Um, I'm gonna try some side flips with it, see what it does. And I, I think 3D mode just makes it all out crazy unstable. So I just put it back in promo, which gives you a little bit more stability. Um, it's pretty fast, but you can still do the flips by holding down the flip button. So I'm gonna try the side flip, see what it does. And then I'm going to uh, end this video. Nice little quadcopter. Indoors, like I said, unless you got a really big living room, this thing can get away from you and bang into something really fast. Out here, 
if you lose control of it, you just hit the kill the throttle so you don't bust the props off it and let it drop in the grass and it'll be okay. I've dropped this up. I guess I crash landed this thing four times so far. No problems at all. So I'll give it one more time with the side flips and then the video's done. Early. Early. Step up closer to it. So, get the screen right there. Breeze is pushing around a little bit. So, we're going to try side flip, see what it does. You see it? Mm hmm. It is fast with side flips, too. I don't know how to keep the steam in orientation because the breeze is pushing around so much. So, there it is. Cheer 1X Amazon Micro Quad Copper. Pretty cool. Been flying this thing for what? I don't know. As long as this video's been going. Five minutes. I can tell it's starting to lose battery because it's starting to not be able to hold it solid. Let's see if I can catch it.